Do you, do you want me to shoot bang? Yeah, go on. Personally, yeah. Me that level, and maybe had like a strap. I don't f straps. You don't f straps. Nah, what do you need a strap for? For more lockdown, isn't it? That's true, they do do that, yeah. A good for, strap, not all straps. Strap, do it. They're not a good, yeah. A yeah, good it has to be a, a good strap. strap. I want strap that's connected to the fly wire. Yeah, that'll lock down. You know, the, yeah, you know was, them that straps? Was bust, that was yeah. G give, me, give me fly wire here, and give me that one. So you want it like that? Yeah, mm. let, me, let me come across here. Let me... <laughs> <laughs> I swear, no shoe company should ever let us into the studio. Don't let us into your labs ever. <laughs> Yo, what is up, you two? This is Pure Kicks back again with another performance review. And for those who have not read the title just yet, today we're taking a look at the Converse All Star Pro BB. Let's get it. Now we haven't seen Converse touch the hardwood since legends like Larry Bird, Magic Johnson and Dr. J were hooping back in the old days. Saying that, no. Dwayne Wade was in the game too. 2006, he had the Wade 1. Ah, yes. Yeah. Yes, the Converse Wade 1s, them were cold. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah. cold. So it's lovely to see that Converse is making back their push into the basketball sneaker market. And today, we're talking about the All-Star Pro BBs. So let's get straight into it. Starting things off, the All-Star BB is a kind of good news, bad shoe shoe. Yes, it is. So what are we doing first? Are we giving them the good news or are we giving them the bad news? I say we just give them the bad news off the bat. And then Should we just go straight? Let's go straight? Don't, don't want to soften the blow nothing? No, no, no. Let's go straight into it. All right. Bad news is that support fit combination did not bang. Lacking. Yeah? Oh, no. Like, I appreciate oh, Converse no. paying homage to the, to the classic Chuck Taylors, yep, you know? Yep. I appreciate that. We have a very minimalistic shoe. Very minimalistic. Which it does, you know, it does feel great. We'll go, we'll go into that, you know, later yep, on in the yep, video. Yep, yep, yep. However, due to that minimalism, support and fit was lacking, yeah? Wasn't Specifically with Timmy and I, this shoe made us bleed. It legit did. It cut our toes, bro. And how did it do that? Starts probably with a fit. Yeah. Now the shoe is true to size, which is great. Yeah. You put them on, your toes are fine at the top, at the toe box. However, even though the heel counter is there, it's and a very small yeah. and thin one with some padding, the padding which is also so. nice for comfort. Heel slippage is in there, which isn't only talking about your heel coming up and down. It actually means back and forth. Yeah. So what we found is that our foot was moving back and forth in the shoe, even though it was true to size, and our toe. The top of our toe was rubbing on the toe box, therefore causing it to bleed. Like rub against the skin yep. and draw blood. Which it's is not a nice feeling. To the both of us. When you're trying to get these buckets. It's not nice. We both experienced the exact same thing. It's tough. It is very tough. Like I said, the fit was okay. It's true to size. Yeah. The other thing that messed me up anyway was the tongue. The tongue was moving, moving. literally Didn't know mad. Where to stay. As soon as you tie the shoe up, the tongue just seeps to one side, which I thought we were done for. Like yeah. those days were finished, but we're still seeing it in crep. And for me, it is one of my pet peeves in crep. The, sh the tongue seeping down to the side and then just leaving this exposed like that, which then doesn't help with support. Does not help whatsoever. That segue was fantastic because support also lacking. In the ankle area, it's also very, very, very lacking. Yeah. You tie up the shoe, but then you get this massive gap that you can slide your hand straight down where your ankle is just moving. It's living its best life, but not being held in the shoe. Yeah. Now, going back to what we talk about, the shoe being minimalistic, that's what they've definitely achieved. This is a sock with traction and cushioning under your foot, yeah. 100%. But you need a bit more than a sock when you're trying out here getting these buckets. When yeah. you're trying to really hoop, you need a bit more than a sock. So that's kind of where they missed the mark a bit. I know they didn't mean to because they did achieve what they were going for, but support was just not where it needed to be whatsoever. Now, without meaning to, we just did fit and support kind of in the same conversation. Yeah. So giving them both a score, they're going to be sixes. Yeah. Now they're there, they're just average, low key below. Yeah, it's below average, bro. Low key, they should both be fives, yeah? However, when you do clock the fit, if you double up in your socks and even maybe wear an ankle brace, then the experience in the shoe is complete. 
So we gave it, it's a benefit of the doubt sport. Yeah, 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 we give yeah. you a six. Hold the average. Yeah, Hold but the average. yeah, there, there's work to do converse for sure. Real quick, if you guys are enjoying this content, like this video, show some love. Comment down what your thoughts are of the All-Star Pro BBs. Are you copping or are you dropping? And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want to be a G, hit the bell to be notified every time we drop a new video. Moving on to the good news, okay? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now, this is where our experience took a U-turn. Cushioning. Had to go up. Midsole cushioning. Come yeah? on. Now what's big about Converse being back in the basketball business is that they are now working with Nike. Of course they are. Yeah? Of course they are. And that means Nike bust them. Fully. Nike bust them Fully. with the React cushioning. Yeah? Full length drop-in midsole. Nah, it's cold. React. It's cold, it's cold. It's cold. Yeah, I had it ready for you man down there. So you man could see I struggled getting it out of the shoe. Yeah? yeah it's cold. Full length React drop-in midsole, bro. It's cold, it's cold. Tell them how it felt, please. Um, I Anyone who's been with the man them from the beginning remembers things like the Kobe NXT 360. Kobe vibes. Yeah. You don't know how happy Flo was talking about that shoe. Same thing here, yeah? Me too. Because this drop in midsole is the lick. Tell them, I bro. Can't, I can't tell them much, bro. You tell have them, to experience it. Tell them how good the response felt. All the response. 10 out of 10 response. I'm saying it now. Tell, them how, it earlier. tell them how good the court feel was. 10 out of 10 court feel. I just thought the court, because I knew it was there. Bro, everything. everything it gives perfect. you everything. React is probably my favorite throne from Nike. Oh, from facts, straight facts. They smacked it, Kobe vibes. What more do you want? Love it's it. a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10. The comfort? Ah, oh, just, ah, oh, the comfort. Impact protection, court feel, response. 10 out of 10. 10s across the board, as people like to say. 10s across the board. This is a dope shoe though. I actually do enjoy it. I hear it, no, shoe, I do. Yeah, of everything, the shoe bang. Shout out to Converse. And shout out to Converse because they threw down one of the best events I've been to in a very long time. That you've been to, because I'm yeah. fuming. Ah, oh, I was watching that story over and over again. If you've not seen it, head over to our Instagram where we've got Converse and Flo doing their thing. I had to miss it, so I'm still upset about that. Yeah. But tell him about it, bro. Bro, we had Fen Cheng Wang there. Yeah. You don't know who she is. Google search that big name in the industry. Big name in the game. Yeah. Had Flo in the studio whipping up a brand new shoe. I was cooking it up. I was cooking it up. Just watch them, just watch the watch the story, bro. She has that converse. Love. Appreciate it. While you're out there, you might as well just follow us on the gram as well. You had better. Don't watch the story about following. Come on now. Alright, Flo. Got some good news for you? Yes, please. There's more good news. Moving on to the traction. Now here in the All-Star Pro BB, we've got a diamond no traction pattern. We actually pays homage to the OG Tuck Taylors from way back in the day, which is yeah. actually the very first basketball shoe. Some people forget. Yep. The traction pattern banged. Bro, it banged severely, The traction bro. itself banged severely. The bite and the coverage, mm. bro, that's all I've got to say about that. It was, it was brilliant. Fantastic. Yeah, brilliant. Marvelous. I feel like there were two things that made the traction bang the way it did. Mm -hmm. The first thing being the compound. Oh. This semi-translucent slash solid rubber outsole, I don't know what it is, Timmy. It's, it's just translucent enough to see the outsole. Just enough. Yeah, which I, it's cheeky, it's I rate cheeky, that. Cheeky, 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 cheeky. But the durability is there. So the bite is there. Dust collection was minimal. Minimal, minimal. One wipe and you're gone, but everything was there, That's bro. What I'm saying, bro. And the second thing for me, was really the design of the nodes. Yeah. We said diamond nodes, but they actually break down into small triangles inside those diamonds to give you that more malleable traction where you need it. Yeah. So in that kind of forefoot area in the heel, you've got a bit more movement in your traction, which really, really helped with that bite again. And then even increasing the coverage. Like you mentioned, dust collection was my only gripe, but that's me being petty yeah. because one wipe and you're good, but it was minimal, so I didn't even mention it, but we have, so I have to give it a score. It's a nine out of 10. It's a strong nine, bro. Yeah. Always low key a yeah. 10. It's, it's so, a strong nine, It's so though. close to being a 10. It's a nine. It's, it's a, a nine. We'll leave nine. it at nine. We'll leave it at nine. Now, lastly, we have the materials and the All-Star Pro BBs. And they were all right. They were all right. They were all right. Neither good news, neither bad news, just kind of news. Yeah. 
Overall, we have Nike's Quad Fit, mm -hmm. which is a quad action woven upper. That's right. All right. We also have canvas on the medial heel part of the shoe as mm -hmm. well, and some synthetic overlays. Now we have one major band, which I think connects the upper to the midsole, and we also have some on the on the toe area as well. That's right. Now on one hand, these materials were good because they contributed to Converse's minimalistic approach, right? We wow. have breathable, lightweight materials that add to the comfort of the shoe. They do, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Now on the other hand of that, those breathable, lightweight, flexible materials are so breathable, lightweight and flexible that they didn't add anything else. Yeah. That's kind of why we kind of got to the conversations about fit and support because the shoe was just really, really flimsy. Yeah. But materials such as canvas used on the heel panel back here it's probably just the wrong choice. It's not needed, bro. It was of all materials you put canvas on a crepe? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I mean, we appreciate Converse paying homage, but sometimes you can't pay too much homage. That's it. Do you can't know what overdo mean? it. You can't overdo it. But the materials definitely do their job. That's they right. definitely give you what you need in a basketball shoe. Agreed. Above average, seven out of ten. I think that's fair. Yeah, they, it I gets the job fair. done. It's not terrible. We're we're stretching, we're reaching a little bit with the canvas. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but I just didn't love it. Yeah, it was the better that. materials they could have used. Yeah, for sure. There was lots of them. So, all right, guys, looking at all the scores, the Converse All Star Pro BB scores a seven point six out of ten. Now, yes, it's one of the lowest scores we've given in a while, but. Still a very good score. Bro, the shoe did its thing. It did. Yeah, the shoe did its thing. It all comes from the traction and the cushioning. Banged. That combination was A1. Was different, 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 that different, different, drop in different. midsole, react cushioning was fantastic. Yeah. Kobe vibes and the traction as well was fantastic. The materials were good as well. They did their thing. Specs. They added to that minimalistic feel. The shoe was only really let down by the fit and support. Massively. But again, if you want what we feel like is the complete All-Star Pro BB experience. Double up with your socks and wear an ankle brace and this shoe is pretty much complete. I hear that. So all right guys, that's everything from us. This is the Converse All-Star Pro BB. Wear pure kicks. Let's, Let's get, get it. it.